you to call the gate, Tongs. Don't show the number. Oh, yeah. How legit is that? That's cool. How do you close it? I suppose we just wait. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mostar Tuk. This are uh, I had the whole presenter thing going on. Welcome. <laughs> I was trying to welcome everyone kindly to the new vlog. This house has got what, Tams? What does this house have? An ocean view, a lot of rooms, pizzazz, a cool aesthetic going. Uh, what were you thinking? I was about? thinking of a lot of good memories. A lot of good memories. And incredible acoustics. Oh, yeah. Just now we'll have to sing for you. Um, in there because it's not the coast. It's fine, even did his beatboxing and skitting. <laughs> to which you will never see that though, because no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corner over the mountains? I see fire.
trying. <laughs> <laughs> so Byron has been trying or wanting to come to this blowhole for quite a while. He's been excited. It took me a while to join him here because it's a little bit scary. But it's super cool, super, super cool. I also stood in something black. And now my shoes are muddy. But I think it was worth it for that. Byron, tell us about the blowhole. So there were only rumors of the blowhole. I couldn't find it anywhere. Ah. And <laughs> so scouring a lot of Google Earth, Google Maps, satellite view, a lot of research, just a lot of research, asking a whole bunch of people. And we found it. I am so pleased. And we almost didn't find it. Before. Look how scary it is. It is, you do not want to fall into this. Look at that. Our estimated location versus the actual location. We got it close. And there it is. see anything anyway. There's Tammy's face. I can't see what I'm standing on. Ugh. We are in the thicket. Never mind. We are out of the thicket. So Tammy, how do you feel about being the only people over here? Horrified and it is a cool feeling, but also just strange to know there's no one else around. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Where was the first place we went on this trip? Uppington. Uppington. And what did we promise everybody when we were in Uppington? That on the 4th of October, we will tell you who we had the video chat with. Ah. Yeah, and that is today. Yeah. Since the 1870s. Wow. And they went there by ox wagon. So it's, it's a fascinating story, actually. And in those years, obviously, land, it was just sand dunes. And the land wasn't worth much. So we just got off a chat, a video chat with the friendliest people ever. Yes. And we're so not going to tell you anything about it yet because we're super excited about it. So you're going to no. have to wait for it. No, let's see. We will tell you on the 4th of October. <laughs> so wait for the 4th. 4th of October, because that's the thing you'll know, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it was with Pete and Jakumin from Mosterzuk, where we are right now. Yeah. So since then, we've been excited for arriving here. For here, for this place. <laughs> we've been excited since then. Yeah. And our s excitement was well justified. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little bit tired. We were very tired. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first place? Where was the first place we went? What's the first place? The fir first place on this trip, Tabs. <laughs> <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun, and I'm about to go take some night photography.
Good morning and welcome back to our beach house. Now Tammy often says, Byron, why don't you cook? Because when I do cook, it's real. Look at this. Jam on toast. But look how delicious it looks. I need to sneeze. Even served it up on a board. Grab it before I sneeze. Oi. <laughs> Thanks for breakfast, Byron. You always look so majestic when I sneeze. The arms go up in the air. <laughs> You feel better now? Yes, let's go sit by the ocean. Okay. So, a reality of traveling for so long, or for two months, is that you need to do washing. So that means you have to counter in the fact that you need to find washing machines every so often but then also you have to like dry your laundry and there's not always like a tumble dryer or you don't want to put stuff always in the tumble dryer you don't want it to shrink or whatever the case but every time in the past where we have done washing on this trip it has rained and like rain rained so We've had to dry all of our clothes inside the houses that we've been or the Airbnbs wherever that we've been and so everything's been hanging on chairs and couches and everything to try and get our stuff to dry. This is the first time in the trip, hello Byron, that we have a sunny day and a washing line. Look at all of those clothes drying in the sun. I forgot how amazing the sun is to dry clothes. It's all drying so quickly. Literally, the first day we were in, not the first day, but one of the first times we did washing was at Boerplas, so in the Koa Boka Felt. And that's the time that it was snowing on the mountains. So it literally took us two and a half days to dry our clothes from inside the house. So this is amazing. Nice songs. Okay, now you gotta scut Sam's go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't know, it's good thing. I know. I'm not the dance one. Wow, that was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> We are at Quayside and what did <laughs> they, I say? They haven't been hammering the whole time. And <laughs> they the, just thought like right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we are at Quayside at the front of St. Francis, Cape Francis Canals. No, the, the St. Francis Canals. St. Francis Canals, yeah. okay. Um, and they're really nice and peaceful. There's all the houses around the canals and the boats and we're sitting on the deck of the restaurant and I'm having an orange juice and Byron is having a, what are you having? Passion fruit and lemonade. Passion fruit and lemonade. Um, we went. We were supposed to do the Two Harbour Walk today, so we went to Granny's Pool. Looks like a cool place to swim, but it's packed. It's packed. Surprisingly, because it's a Monday. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we're also feeling extremely tired right now. I think the trip is catching up with us a little bit. Um, still have a full day of shooting ahead, so we'll have to snap out of it. But have a quick drink. I'm gonna share a pizza and then we will get back to the house and shoot. <laughs> Although it 
sort of. I don't know if you can see it because it's getting worse. I can't find it. <laughs> yeah. I've got a shot of it. I wasn't even filming anything by the way. Okay. So you can walk from the lighthouse all the way to the blowhole and then stop at Sunset Rock. Or in our case, Cloud Set Rock. <laughs> there you go. of dolphins going across. Thank you guys for joining us at Mostad's Hook. We had a lovely time here. The sea is so like mesmerizing. You like, you could be doing something, washing the dishes, filming, whatever it is, but somehow you still get so captivated by the ocean out front that you just stop and stare for a bit. It's lovely. Oh, and also remember when I said that we were doing the washing and I was so happy for the sunshine? Literally like an hour after I said that, the sun just disappeared and all of these rain clouds or smog, fog decided to appear. But it's okay, it didn't rain. Um, but I did the washing, so there you go. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this vlog. We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye! Uh-huh.